Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this project, we'll be completing an end to end data science project and we'll be using machine learning, NLP, and Python and many small steps to clean our data. So, uh, you can check out uh, the whole code repository for this project in the description of this video. And this would be a cyberbullying project, so it will be basically a tweet uh, sentiment classification where we classify each particular tweet to a particular category and uh, do check out uh, my linkedin page also for similar updates and all subscribe to project pro for more uh, similar end-to-end -end project videos thank you <coughs> so welcome to part two of this video guys so uh, in the part one what we did we uh, got the data we cleaned the data and uh, we had this tweet sentiment uh, data so we had one column of tweet we had one column of sentiments and we cleaned our data and we prepared our data for uh, you know going further to a nlp model right so we did a little bit of removing of stop words and symbols from the data and now we are ready to train our model on different uh you know but uh, machine learning models and we'll try out right so we'll start with uh you know splitting our data into train and test set so we have taken an x and y of our data y is your label x is your training data so x is your uh, clean text and y is your sentiment code remember clean text is our uh, whole text data and not the list data right so we had tweet list and we have clean text right so in the uh, what we did we did a train test split we got our divided our data into a ratio of uh, 17 30 so our trained uh, data is 30 per, uh, 70 percent of our data we did a stratify equals to y that means that your uh, individual train and test set had same uh, ratio of division of diff all the classes right uh, and finally we print the shape right so let me run this codes right so modeling uh, splitting my data into x and y and then we'll print the shape right so my test data has 31252 values and my train data has 13395 values right so and then i'm using a tfidf vectorizer i've initiated it so basically i've imported it so i can initiate it here and uh, then i have done a fit transform on my train data and I transform on my test data remember this is a really important step most will make some mistake here so we do a fit transform in training data so basically uh, your uh, tfid vectorizers will learn some parameter from your train data and implement the same parameter on the test data right this is really important to do a fit transform on train and transform on test right so let's try our first model which is a logistic regression model a simple uh, classification model so uh, what we'll do here we'll uh, you know, slightly start increasing complexity of a model right and we'll see okay at what particular point of increasing complexity we are not observing any good results and at that point we'll stop right so here i am using a cross validation uh, method over logistic regression so i have taken a log regression model and I'm doing a five-fold cross validation uh, and I'm monitoring the F1 score, right? So if I do this and uh, let's wait for the results. Uh, <coughs> so I suppose it will give me a kind of a good results. Reason being that, you know, I had a good uh, division of all of my models, right? That's my idea. So let's say I'm getting a good uh, F1 score of 0.82. Uh, currently, I'm supposing it's good. I don't have no... Uh, let's see what we get further and you know if we can get a better score than 0.82 that would be great so this is a linear uh, SVC model right so let's uh, support vector machine model right so uh, we are getting almost similar scores as we see as well so I, I hope the code is clear for both of them you just uh, have a model you are training your train data set and you have provided uh, cross validation of five and you provide a scoring metric you, uh, you know this particular metric you have to monitor while doing a cross validation later i'm trying uh, a multinomial uh, you know naive bias classifier over it so you might uh, question that why i'm doing a uh, naive bias and this question might be asked to interview as well if you present this particular project so the reason being is that you know, there is a particular pattern to choose your uh, machine learning model right so uh, general idea is to uh, go from a most lower complex model and move towards higher complexity and there would be one particular point you when you when you will observe ki, okay increasing complexity is not Im improving my performance right so at this is a particular sign that you should stop right so if i do a multinomial class model so i see a score of 0.67 so i have i have noticed ki, okay the performance has started decreasing so if i do a decision tree of cross validation and uh, here I see that, uh, uh, let's say 0 0.80. Yeah, so see, naive bias is a little complex model that is two multinomial naive bias a complex model. So we are not getting good results over it. But on a DC entry, we are getting a better result than naive bias. This is a suggestion that 
you know we should not uh, try more model but just for the sake of uh, the project let's uh, you know try some ensemble model as well as well because generally you know ensemble model models get good results let's see i suppose uh, you know random forest will get a good result because uh, ensemble techniques are always uh, better than you know using individual model so let's see it will might take um, time for you depending on your system reason being that you are doing a five fold cross validation so understand uh, you know see this initially you were running one model now you're running five model right so it is supposed to take a lot of time and uh, let's it depends on the system how much time it will take but for sure it will you know give you good results and if you have any problem with your OS running it in your system and you have a good internet connection try running it the whole notebook into google clap right so you know you will be using google's resources and it will be more dependent on your internet than, than your system let's see what we get on random forest and later we'll try uh, add a boost also okay so we got decision tree we got multinomial we got support vector we got logistic i guess if we did not get a good result on random forest now then we'll go with uh, logistic only but i am supposing yeah we yeah so we got a good result on random forest it's 0.83 uh, and let's uh, try add a boost as well so we have tried one ensemble techniques of random forest so basically it's a uh, bagging technique of different uh, you know where you have different trees in parallel right so we have tried one bagging technique we are trying one boosting technique that is add a boost and let's see if we get good results on add a boost so what uh, so we have tried bagging boosting and we have tried uh, SVC as well and we have tried uh, knife base right so and we have tried uh, logistic as well so i guess we have tried all of the models except uh, deep learning models so that will not be covered in this particular session and uh, let's see what we get here so see in this particular uh, step now we are just uh, deciding our model right and we are you know we won't be discussing the theories of all these models right so for that there will there will be a separate video for that so do it for it so on adaboost you're getting 0.76 so see uh here i am think we'll go with the random forest module right so uh, among these we'll go with the svm as more generalized right so yeah yeah actually we'll go with the svm as well and we can go with random forest as well but uh, svm is more generalized uh but in my session we could have also gone with random forest the reason that we went with svc what it's generalized and i get that that gives a you know advantage to svc right that when you have a less data sets we don't have that much of a data set if you're doing a, that sort of sentiment analysis right so that is the reason that we are going for svc if it's ours new interview you have to answer that you know we are going with svc because we suppose that you know it's more generalized and if we go do a good tuning over there so we'll get some good results right so if we tune this model and uh, tuning basically means that you know till now you were doing five cross validation that's fine now what you will be doing you will be trying uh, all of these models with different parameters right so uh, let's say i have uh, five parameters of c two parameters of loss and two parameters of fit intercept right so 2 into 2 into 5 so that's 4 5 20 and into 5 it's 100 right so now till now i was doing one machine learning model now i'm trying 100 machine learning models right of linear svc initially we did one svc and now we are expecting that if we try to tune that particular svc we'll get even better results right so it's basically you're trying one model with some particular fixed parameter now you're trying 100 models all which uh, different combination of parameter and you will see okay, what are the best parameter combination that I'm getting right? and then we'll use the same model uh, same uh, combination for our model okay so I we did a grid search CV and we found okay, uh, with all these things let's see what are the best estimators so we saw okay, stick C equals to 1 and loss equals to hinge so these are the best uh, parameters that we have and on these parameters where C equals to 1 and loss equals to hinge I am getting a grid score of 0.825 okay so this was the reason that we were using SVC because we believe that okay it's more generalized so if we fine tune it we'll get better results than what we were getting at random forest right and uh, finally we'll move towards evaluation matrix right so uh, what I have done here I have just uh, taken the 
ट्रेनिंग एवेल्युएशन मैट्रिक्स चल रहा हूँ राइट सो इट्स माय एस वी सी डॉट फिट एक्स ट्रेन वाई ट्रेन एंड एस वी सब प्रेडिक एक्स टेस्ट राइट सो आई हैव फिटेड माय मॉडल विद एक्स ट्रेन वाई ट्रेन वॉट एवर मॉडल आई वाज गेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर लीनियर एस वी सी इफ यू सी हेयर आई हैव डन एस वी सी डॉट फिट राइट सो I'm getting this score, and then I have used the same model to predict over the test data set. I've got my Y prediction, right? So I'm checking my prediction over the test data set, and uh, then I have made one met uh, you know particular function to print the confusion matrix. So now when we have made a confusion matrix model, so uh, we have made one function to print the confusion matrix. So and we'll try to evaluate those. So what we have done here is we have just taken the confusion matrix as we have imported from. Uh, it will just give us a better view of confusion matrix, right? Nothing else. So, and uh, we have provided the class name. It just for better visualization, we can just uh, have a simple confusion matrix as well. So then, uh, confusion matrix gives you basically gives you uh, you know kind of a uh, uh, you know those actual and predict comparison between actual and predicted value for each particular class, right? so when i do it i'll get something like this so now you'll understand why we are doing you know let me zoom out a little bit right so now you'll understand why we made a better graph of it right so let's understand this right so for example in the case of religion what i'm seeing is that these are the truth values and these are the prediction values right so out of uh, there were 2266 values are there which were of religion actually right which were uh, of like religion and which are actually predicted as religion later four uh, you know classes four uh, values were there which were of cyber bullying case of uh, religion but uh, which were predicted as age and most of the cases you know in religion were correctly predicted but uh, if i see which particular category was most strongly predicted is was uh, not cyber bullying right so uh if i check particular religion right so there are 84 cases of religion which were supposed to be predicted as cyber bullying against religion but they were not being reported right so this this is basically a wrong thing right and uh, this should have been corrected so like that's why we are getting 83% error these uh see all of this uh, data that is not in the diagonal is our error right these we like you know these were the data point which our model was not able to understand or was not able not able to classify properly if i see here and we have also made a scale you know which uh, defines the intensity uh, defines on the value of data so here i am saying these two values are there right so for example 554 and 580 so what does 554 means 554 means that all these cases 554 cases were part of other cyber bullying to be actual but they were not classified correct right we classified them as cyber bullying which was wrong right which so this is one thing that we need to figure out right so these are the prediction values right so for example these 554 cases were classified as uh, not cyber bullying right but in actual they were other cyber bullying cases similarly these 580 cases were classified as cyber bullying cases but they were not cyber bullying cases so you know you have to make a call here uh, between uh, you either you have to go for you know precision or recall right so you know this uh, happens right for example uh, if i go with a health data right so if a person is pre, uh, you know has a little chance of cancer so i'll you know classify that person to be prone to cancer right even if he have 20 to 30% chance right so and if a male is uh, you know so this is a difference right so you have to make a call here ki whether you have to uh, be really strict about cases kyunki even if there is a 20% probability of a tweet being a you know cyber bullying tweet so we have to report it right so that is a uh, company's call and uh, just for a better understanding let's print the classification report also so you will see here that okay the, all the four uh, these four classes are being judged correctly almost uh, really good nicely right but uh, the main problem that we are having is over other cyber bullying and not cyber bullying cases which we are not able to classify right so what will be your call from this particular stage is that our uh, data gathering thing should be working right should be working and uh, we'll be getting more rightly de- labeled data on other cyber bullying and not cyber bullying cases right like this would be our uh, kind of a feedback to the data sourcing team or data preparing team right Okay, so that brings us to the end of this. So, uh, guys, this was uh, the part two of this uh, video series, right? So, in this video, what we did, we basically made a machine learning model, right? We tried different uh, machine learning model. We will try to assess take SVC, uh, naive Bayes recent tree, and the bagging and a boosting technique. So, 
and we got okay uh, that uh, linear SPC was the best model that we had and we did a great search over it we found the best parameter and over that best parameter we fit our model and we evaluated a model with a confusion matrix and we saw okay, okay we are getting kind of a good score but there were there can be improvements that are made but it will be more on the data side team right so we will not be uh, going further any more complex model because we saw that way increasing complexity does not improve the score of a model so now from here the next uh, in the next series we will be uh, saving this model in a pickle file and then we will be making a django application to uh, you know with a simple front end we'll have a simple ui we'll put the values i'll put a tweet in it and uh, when i submit it our particular tweet will be classified in one of the particular uh, you know uh, categories to okay, which particular categories this particular tweet falls into of cyberbullying right so it will be a little bigger video because uh, i have to cover a little bit of django but uh, as well but uh, just stay with me and follow the steps i have provided and this notebook would be there in my github uh, github uh, library and it will be uh, the link for this it will be in my description so you can access that run it and uh, hope you know you understand it if you have any doubts please post in the comments i'll be really excited to answer and uh, yes yeah, see you soon in the third part thank you